Hey guys, welcome to RK Garage. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the diode mod on the 4L60E. Uh, in particular, this is a VY Commodore. This uses the same for VX. It also works for the V8 and the VR, I believe, as well, at least VS. Uh, you need a diode that's IN504 from memory. I'll put up a screenshot here of the actual diode from Jaker. Um, and also I'll put a picture up of the diagram we're going to be using. A lot of people do it at the gearbox, we're going to be doing it at the ECU. So, since I've stripped this car out, this is the room here for the ECU. I'm just going to cut back these wires here. Well, I'll cut back the tape. So I'll get that done and then we'll come to it. I've just pre-crimped on a couple crimps on this diode here. You need to make sure you take note of the side that has this silver band. Anyway, I'm gonna to get to that and we'll cut back. Okay, so the connectors you're gonna need is this small brown one here and this tam one to release these and pull them out. It's just these tabs here, you just grab onto and pull. Um, let's see if I can set this GoPro up. So you just, oh, sorry about that. Grab that, pull, same thing here. Grab that and pull. So then the wires you are going to need are on, let's have a look here, the diagram on E and F, which E and F is this TAM one here. You are going to need the brown, I believe. And yellow. Let me just get up the diagram here. F should be F11, which is brown and yellow. So the wire you need from this tan color is um, brown and yellow, which is this one here. Brown and yellow. You can see that they are actually numbered. I uh, hope you guys might be able to see it. Just numbered along here, so you can follow that along. You can see 11 is right next to 12 on there, so got this here so I'm gonna cut that uh, we'll cut that one there and then you also need F12 which is yellow so you will also need this one here which is next to the brown and yellow one so I'm gonna cut that one there Then on B, we want B1, which should be green, which is here. So on this smaller brown one, you want number one. On the B side, these blue clips here are actually labeled A and B as well. So you want this green one on the very outside on B. So we'll cut that at the same spot. You just get to it nicely. There we go. Cut that. And then we want A2. So if we go to this top side here. A2, A starts there, you got one and two, should be yellow and black, which is this wire here, yellow and black. So, same thing again. I'm just gonna cut it at the same length as these here. All right, so now we've got all these cut, you don't need to worry about the pin numbers anymore. So, we're going to start on the side of the diode that has the gray band. So the ones on the gray band are going to be yellow and black and brown and yellow. So these two will be joined together. So I'm gonna strip these.
get them twisted together. Now remember, side with the grey band, you're going to push that into your crimp and crimp it like so. Always give a tug test. Then these two here, which should be a straight yellow and the green, you want to strip them at the same as well. Twist them together. And grab that there. Crimp it. Like that. Tug test, tug test, tug test it and tug test it. And there you go. Now that is manualized. Now I like to tape up the ends of these individually and tape it all back in the loom all nice. So I'm going to get that done and then we'll cut back. All right, and there we have it. Now it's all back together. I ran out of black tape, so I had to use white. But the crimps are all taped in, the dyes all taped in, so it can't be damaged. ECU can then go back in its place. Once so I slot that in, the wiring's all tucked away like it is in factory, and you'd never know. Um, don't forget, don't forget as well, when you do the crimps, you do it on the uh, gearbox side. So not on the plug side at the ECU, you do it at the gearbox side that leads out into the engine bay. You do it there. But now when you have it in first gear, it will select first gear and stay in first gear till you go to second. And then same thing, stay in there till you go to third. And then when you go to drive, that'll be fourth. So when, you, when it's in drive, it will not go one, two, three, four like normal. It will go straight to fourth. So you need to remember that. It also, I believe, locks the converter as well. So you shouldn't use this on the street for highway driving because you will heat the trans fluid and cook that and kill the box very easily. Yep, yeah, hope you guys have liked this video. It was instructional. If you have any questions, write them in the comments and I'll answer them as best as I can. Um, once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed because you just found this channel because of the, the diode, uh, this is usually what you'll see in my channel. This here is a Turbo Ecotech. Looks like an LS with that intake, but it is actually an Ecotech, so yeah. And then there's LS stuff and out there there's a bar as well, so there's plenty of car content, so yeah. Hope to see you guys come back.